Hey everybody, it's Casual Scale Molly here, and as you can see, I finally got my Malatow, 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 whatever, chrome pins. Uh, it's been quite a bit of a wait. It took a long time for them to get in stock, and I ordered them, and they got here really quick. So I immediately ripped open the package and started working on the 57 Chevy. And it started out pretty good. Unfortunately, very quickly after starting to use it, the one millimeter pin, the one millimeter version, just simply stopped working. It no longer flows paint. I tried to clean off the tip, soak it in alcohol, see if I get it to flow, and then trying to get the paint to flow, it ended up just literally splattering ink everywhere. So I, to the stuff that was sitting there on my on my cutting mat, I just grabbed a brush and brushed everything on um, to finish up the '57 Chevy. So unfortunately, this pin died. I don't even know if there's any ink left in it, but um, the other ones still work fine, and I was able to get quite a bit of work done. Let me tell you, I saw the videos, I couldn't believe it in, in real life. Once I actually started using it, this stuff is incredible. Um, let me use this piece right here. Let me try and zoom in here and get some decent light. The top of this bumper, here and here, is the chrome pin. I actually use the, the, I think the best part of this pin is being able to clean up mold lines and screw attachment points on chrome pieces. And you just patch them up. The entire top of this got scratched up a little bit, trying to clean it, and you I just can't tell. It's absolutely the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. The pins themselves, not so much, but the stuff, they, whatever this liquid chrome stuff is, I'm just speechless on how freaking awesome it looks. Um, one thing I did notice, if, it, if you don't mix, you have to constantly keep it mixing. It does seem to separate out and just looks like silver. And um, you do kind of have to pull it up a little bit to get the really chrome, good chrome effect on it. But, so here's the body on the 57. Everything came out great. Nice and chrome. And I actually re-varnished it because I guess this tester's varnish I use sucks. And I thought when I did the, the van, um, I thought I didn't let the, the varnish cure long enough. So it kind of lost its, its shine. This has been sitting in here for a couple weeks, a month maybe, since I sprayed the varnish, and it did the exact same thing. So that tester's lacquer varnish, I'm not gonna use that anymore. I'm gonna have to find something else that works better and actually survives, which is strange because the lacquer's, the tester's dull coat, I use on my Warhammer miniatures. I handle those things constantly, and I don't have the varnish losing its sheen or absorbing skin oil or any of that problem. The tester's dull coat just seals those things perfectly. And um, the, the, the gloss lacquer varnish that they make doesn't seem to be having the same quality as the, um, the flat the dull coat, which is kind of disappointing. So I have to find a better varnish um, when they can actually handle being touched. Um, that's really all I get to say. If if I was going to do it, unfortunately, when I bought these things, I could not find one of the refill bottles, um, which is what I really wanted. So basically, if I had to do it again, I would only buy the refill bottle and not worry about the pins themselves. Because um, it is alcohol-based. When I took the brush, it just the, the brush cleaned up perfectly good with just ordinary rubbing alcohol. Nothing it was no big deal getting it off the brush. So um, I would definitely go with um, the refill bottle and and not the pins themselves. And I'm still looking for a refill bottle too, but again, they still seem to be sold out. So kind of disappointed. I did pay a lot for these. Um, and I mean a lot. It was probably 40 bucks for these shipped, uh, for these three pins. And have one of them die almost instantly was very disheartening. But at least the stuff's still in there and I can still use the chrome pin, the chrome itself. And overall, I'm extremely happy with the way this stuff comes out. Being able to finally have a decent way to patch up chrome um, parts where you clean up the mold lines and the sprue attachment points, that alone is, is worth it. I'm just amazed by this stuff. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy up. He is just about done. I literally just have to throw them together. And so the next video will be the final on the 57. Thanks for watching.